This conference hello. will now be recorded. Hi, hello all. Welcome to the next session on SAP ABAP on HANA. In the last few classes, we have discussed about what exactly the core data services and what is CDS, guys? What is CDS? Uh, core data services. I'm not asking for the stands for the definition. So it is in a one of the code push down technique and which is an actually enhancement to the SQL and with the CDS we can do the DQL and DCL and DDL and also it is a name with this we can fetch the data we can design the tables and also we can provide the authorization which is in a DCL concept and what exactly the code push down so if you want to push down so let's take an example of if you want to fetch the data from 10 database tables and if you want to fetch it you need to write in a select statement so you need to write a loop at internal table and read the data from another internal tables and you need to make in a final internal table instead of doing all the processing logic in the application layer and we are going to create one cds and the cds will be executed on the database layer and which will give in a good performance compared to the uh, previous the paradigm the paradigm which we call is in a data to code paradigm but the cds is in a code to data paradigm and which will provide in a code push down technique guys so this is in a code push down technique and also with core data services we have any annotations and with the annotations we have different kind of annotations like analytical annotations and wo data annotations and ui annotations okay and fury annotations a lot of things we can do with the core data services guys and if you want to build in a core data service where you can build it so you can build the core data services in the eclipse not in the sap gui so gui it's not possible to implement the core data services guys so so and one more thing is most of the myth is so the cds is only the ana concept so with a with the cds we can implement the cds in non hana database as well as the hana database your abap layer should be the greater than or equal to the 7.40 so if your abap layer greater than 7.40 we can build the cds in non hana database and also in the hana database case and so what is the uh, syntax of an cds so normally we have an a define view the cds view name and add select from the database table and the database table here is in a header database table for the sales and we can fetch the data from different database tables by using cds and we have a concept called inner joins and outer joins and left outer join and right outer join and we will use the joins to fetch the data from different database tables case and also whenever you create in a cds by default you are going to see the annotations what exactly the annotation what exactly the annotation annotation provides a metadata of your service and all the annotations will starts with a at the rate symbol guys so this is the one of the basic cds which we have seen in the last few classes and also we have seen the parameterized cds so what exactly the parameterized cds suppose if you want to have any input parameters for your cds we are going to use the parameterized cds so here you can see the syntax with the parameters additionally you need to provide it and here also you need to provide the reference type the data element which you need to give it for your parameter and so this here in the last where condition you need to write in a where condition with the dollar parameter syntax which we need to add it guys and also we have seen the cds left outer join suppose if you want to implement for all entries in cds so the concept is you have to use an a cds with the left outer join guys so how can you consume your cds from the abap programs how can you consume your cds the same the same way guys we can we are selecting the data from database table in the same way we are going to select the data from the cds case so that's what we have seen in the last few classes and if you want to implement the cds you must be having an eclipse on your server level and go to the eclipse and so actually it's in a mars mars doesn't give me the desktop icon so shortcut maybe yeah shortcut 
it is not giving me the shortcut actually Okay. This is the Eclipse and I'm going to open the Eclipse. See the Eclipse advantage is you can add a number of systems in single window and you can go to you can navigate to the systems and maybe you know this is a S4 server. This is our lab server. I'm going to start the lab server and W Welcome one two three four Okay, this is the one of the CDS which you have created yesterday. Maybe we'll go to the favorite packages and go to the ADG9. And if you want to navigate your stuff, go to the dictionary. In the dictionary, you see the data definitions. So above DDL sources, and here yesterday we have we have implemented different kind of CDS case. Okay, so maybe in the last class we have seen the left out of join cds and this is the cds and here you can see the defined cds and with the parameter which is in a parameterized cds and we have given the imports of vkorg and vtwz and spart so here we are selecting the data from vbac as an a header header is an alias over here and left out of join vbap why i have used left out of join here we are Two tables we back and we map. I have used it in a left outer join. Why I have used it in a left outer join? <coughs> Why I have used a left outer join? Yeah, so that means suppose I have an order. Sometimes there is no items for that order. Even I need to get the order which is not having any item. So if that is the case. So if it is an inner join, if you have an item, then it will fetch it. If there is no item, it doesn't fetch that order base. So that is the reason I put an a left outer join. So inner join, I put an a KNA one inner join. Why a KNA one as an inner join? So why? Because whenever in the sales, without any customer, you cannot create an order guys. Because when you go to VA01, first you must give an a ship to party and sold to party. So that's why. Definitely there will be a customer record. That's why I have used an inner join and Mara without your product You cannot create an a sales order. That's why I have used an inner join and MAKT Definitely for material you will be having an a material description and lips. So it's an a delivery item data. So sometimes I Create an order. So the delivery is not at happened. The delivery is not at created that means so you will get an order which is not having an a delivery otherwise if you use the inner join so if you have the delivery then only you are getting that order into your output case so this is the use case which we are going to normally we can see in the real time guys okay and and i did an inner join on lips if the delivery is available in item definitely the delivery data will be available in the header table that's why i put in a relationship between lips and likp so here you must be having any data LIKP is in a header table, LIPS is in an item table. If you have the data in item table, definitely you will be having the data in the header table, guys. So my relationship here is LIPS to the LIKP. That's why I have used an inner join. So whatever fields you would like to need, all the fields should be inside the curly braces. And we have used an a curly braces. And also the fields which we have defined. And here yesterday we have some errors, guys. So actually yesterday I did wrong actually I did an a casting here Okay casting doesn't work in the front when you use a case statement. Okay, you must use an a cast on the Final so here I need to use an a cast case cast so when this L prio if it is one it's an a high priority if it is in a two then it's in a normal priority and when it is in a three it's in a low priority for all other values it's an a other priority and here 
actually this field is my custom field guys my own defined field let's take an example this field is not available in, in any of the table this field is not available in vivac this field is not available in kna1 this field is not available in anywhere so this is my custom field since it is in a custom field you must declare in a reference type exactly here we are doing that same concept guys so don't think this this is in a reference above character so this is not for the this case this field is available el prio is available in the delivery header table L LIKP, but a delivery priority text which is not available anywhere this is my own custom field since my own custom field you have to write in a casting and i'm going to do in a cast and i have assigned in a abap uh, see these are all the cds data types case okay we have different kind of cds data types so the cds data types are here serious data types so like this we have a serious data types, which is an abap okay dot character here if it is in a character field always you must give an a length right here you need to provide an a length guys okay left if it is one or two or three whatever the length which you need to give and abap dot fltp this is an a floating point data type floating point and we have an a abap dot integer four into one into two like that we have into one we have abap dot into two um, into two we have abap dot int four like this we have in a different kind of about serious data types which we have guys and if you want to find out the the documentation about all the serious data types we need to go to the abap help and there you can search it so what are the different kind of data types which we have in the cds sap user and welcome one two three four i think someone has locked it it seems W L C O M E one two three four. Okay. So the transaction code is always if you want to search anything, guys, above help. So CDS data types. Enter. See, you can see the cds relational operator data types okay we'll go here maybe we'll expand from here so you can see this is not cds data type expand so it's not cds data types case maybe uh, cds uh, types so it's not cds it's normal types okay cds core data services enter so above cds so in above cds see there are a lot of syntaxes they have given uh, they have given annotations and language elements and views and authorizations and maybe go to the cds general syntax rules names are not case sensitive so there are different syntax the thumb rules they have given guys so here you can see the thumb rules of an um, above CDS, okay? And also name can be maximum of 30 characters. A name consists of letters, numbers, and see there are keywords you can see. So as we are using as association, average, case, cast, these are all the keywords which we are using. Count, uh, these are aggregations. We can call it an a count, max, minimum, and sum. Okay, these are all the uh, aggregations. And also we have a sum right and a union so union is possible and view and when and where these are all the some of the keywords in the cds which we are going to use it guys and comments suppose if you want to put on a comment see so two slashes is the comment and comments within the lines of that 
and multiple lines are enclosed by the characters so if it is in a multiple lines which you need to it's a very concept guys maybe uh, i can say it's in a serious thumb rules we can uh, take this as in a serious thumb rules so already you know all this maybe you can take this as an serious thumb rules and so maybe these are the keywords which we are going to have and names and uh, laterals names okay so two slashes means it's comment suppose if you want to comment multiple lines first uh, slash star and star slash so these are some of the things which we need to no while building the serious case and so so this is an above character which is defined for the delivery priority text case and so which now you can see there is no errors yesterday we got the error so since i put an a cast in front that's why it's giving me the error guys and activate and So it is activating in the so the activation is successful guys so yesterday we have consumed this series from the abap program so how you can consume this series from the abap program so maybe go to the abap program yesterday which we have built se 10 and display and go to the transport and this we have an a uh, program in the program i think loj this is the program which we have used and take this consume and you can see we are selected the data from the series and so the importing parameters normally we use the way in the where condition but when it is in a series okay you should put the you should put an input parameters by opening in a parenthesis inside after the series immediately you need to open a parenthesis in the parenthesis you need to put an a importing parameters so this is my importing parameter in the series so for this importing parameter i am passing an input parameter of our program and i am underscore vtwg we are using p underscore vtwg i am underscore spart we have used an a p underscore spart and final that data we are storing in the internal table guys and leave about this and we are going to display the data in the output maybe i can uh, take out this code this code is not required just to uh, uh, we'll put an only sort case pretty printer and do the syntax check and activate and activate and execute and give that thousand ten and zero zero maybe i can save this because we are entering okay again and again so i'm going to create an a variant for this and execute see guys so we have a report in this report if you go to see this is an a high priority guys if it is in a one it is in a high priority if it is in a uh, that field is not coming in the uh, output even if you want to get that output even that also i can take as an output guys take this so this is my field and i will declare this field in the output list so comma so now you will get an a delivery priority as well as an a delivery priority text guys activate now so this is activated again go to go back and again uh, execute and select the variant select the variant and execute and come back come to this side and you can see uh, where is the see guys so the delivery priority which is an a one which is an a high priority maybe we can see the other priorities are there see guys if it is in a two it's an a normal priority two normal priority like this we are going to see even the space there is no delivery priority this is an other priority guys so like this we are going to apply some functions the casting and case statement but here my case is let's take an example of um, uh, I have a material description guys. Okay, 
so i would like to display this material description in upper case and lower case how you can do it maybe the cds string cast the cast we can manipulate the data and assign the new data types to the custom fields which are not part of the database tables so here let's take an example of so here high priority which is not part of any database table delivery priority is in a part of database table but the this priority this custom text which i have provided which is not part of a database table we have determined based on the logic we have applied in a case logic so based on the logic based on the value it is going to give me the other values by using custom field guys so if you want to do this kind of functionality we are going to use in a cast statement guys so the next statement is we have upper and lower so simple so by seeing this so guys string operations did you remember so if you want to convert your data into okay lower and upper case which statement we will use fundamentals second class third class okay fundamentals first class not first second third or fourth class i have explained string operations so if you want to convert your text to upper case and lower case which statement we have used huh? concatenate is to combine multiple strings huh? into the single string huh? a basic here upper case lower case yeah translate is the statement okay here also if you want to do upper case or lower case we are going to use an a statement called upper and lower case so here the upper means it will convert to the upper case simple okay simple i will give the definition it will convert the data to upper and lower case that means if i put upper it will convert it to the upper see upper so put the data up whenever you use any, any keyword the keyword should be the field should be in the inside the parenthesis case maybe we can check it so all alias name must be assigned for the expressions so whenever you use an expression you must be having an alias alias means maybe i can put as as an a material description d e s that's it control s and now you can see and what is this error function upper is unknown huh? upper is unknown control s u p p r caps u p p e r control s so why it's not working no guys it should work upper is unknown spelling u p p e r okay control s no s as m a t material description okay control s and maybe so i think it should be part of my field list control v comma control s do the syntax check no so why it's giving me an error so we have an a just go to abap cds so abap help so cds upper so to upper case this is in a translate uh, cds 
maybe you can see the string operations abap cds and cds syntax and views so cds views cds authorizations and we have any uppercase case cds annotations syntax rules language elements views uh, data using sap buffering client handling and authorizations <coughs> So this is the syntax rules. <clears throat> you can see here upper case. Do you see any keyword upper? No. All and average case. I think in this the upper is not available. It seems so. Maybe so. I will check the same thing in the analysis. Maybe upper is not supportable here. <coughs> This is our ST HANA. Okay, go to the ABAP HCL and CDS. CDS. I see it is giving me a lot of things table to functions, the input parameters, extensions variants listing annotations so cds so abap you can see there are a lot of documentation abap cds our core data services come here uh, cds okay <coughs> okay, parameterized. Do you see anywhere the CDS uh, syntax? Where I have seen these statements above CDS general syntax rules. Above CDS general syntax rules. So, okay, syntax. Okay, general syntax rules. And here you can see all average count extend having inner join order some union syntax maybe somewhere i have seen the upper should be there guys so spelling mistake huh no it doesn't work No, every parenthesis starts immediately. It's just not working here. Okay, F1. Function upper is unknown. Uh, no error. Parameterized CDS for sales and uh, upper is unknown. Okay, maybe you will try in the here. SK1234. So yesterday we have checked it, it's working fine. Now where did I implement it here, CDS? Data dictionary. Someone has deleted, huh? So in ANA guys, you can see directly as in a core data services. In SAP ECC, you will see under the data dictionary. Data dictionary, you see ABAP DDL sources. That's the difference. If it is an ANA server, you can directly see 
it's as a core data services there are some changes maybe some statements also not working see guys it's you can see upper as maktx see it's working as is but here it's not working in ana it's working but the upper statement is in a new statement in ana it's the upper case is working but if you see here in the uh, space correct i put in a space as maktx so here also we'll put like in a space upper maktx guys so now you can do control s pdesc dot maktx as exactly i put the same way as maktx control s no even the total statement which is not working guys see do the syntax check and the error you can see the upper statement is not working in the sap acc so that's why a cds is more capable in the new versions okay they have introduced a lot of new things in the newer versions okay maybe i will take this total into the now onwards the sap ecc doesn't work for you guys even the next concepts purely the advanced uh, statements you have to take in a server okay in sap ecc only the core things only it will work okay some of the basic things it will work okay the upper statement and all it doesn't work in the sap ecc now you can see now i went to the so one uh, close it to maybe go to the one so this is an st hana it's an a hana stuff and now just activate this now it is working in the hana side it is working guys so now there is no warnings maybe i can consume the same uh, same cds in hana side go to the hana system so ns4 means it's in hana go to se 38 and g uh, don't put edg g so c uh, yeah, h hdb underscore sales underscore left outer join and create the program g hdb underscore sales underscore l create program demo for left outer join with parameterized series executable program save so ghtb save okay uh, on our transports okay you already know parameters maybe i can copy the same program okay because already you are familiar uh, with this so go back and so control a and control c and go to here and control v so maybe whenever you do this so the report is also copied take it out of the report statement and save and pretty printer and same cds case name is also same <coughs> i think do the syntax check otherwise it will give errors if the name is different and activate i am running the same report in the ana but i should know what are all the sales organization distribution channel and division for my input okay go to the se16n and go to v back so i need to see some of the orders guys so take it out the 500 and execute and you can see here the the setup is different guys maybe you can see that setup so what is the setup uh, the sales organization distribution channel and division tell me where is that yeah you can see uh, okay 4901 and 01 okay maybe it is having very less records guys so if you see most of the entries yeah 490 yeah this is having more records g999999 okay execute and z 999 
okay we have so this is the way you need to get the data guys test test and control s and execute see guys you can see the data and so maybe the material description where is the material description see guys the material description comes as an upper case all material descriptions into the upper case maybe if you want to convert it to the lower yeah you can do into the lower case and activate so it is activated now go back and come back and again maybe refresh and execute and select the variant and it comes into the lower case case okay like this we can do a lot of things and maybe i go to hana uh, <coughs> i would like to see uh, uh concatenate guys see so i have implemented the concatenate and the, suppose let's take an example of customer name one and customer name two okay if you want to get full name we have to concatenate right so let's take an example of uh, what is tell me some of the name okay uh, uh, your name is uh, mamata your damara charla uh, uh, darshanala let's take example of customer name uh, mamata darshanala okay if you want to get a full name we need to concatenate name one and name two as a full name guys so in the same way we are going to do a concatenate the customer name one customer name two as a full name guys so maybe see the output here and you can see the output is somewhere yeah so you can see enterprise the so name one name two is space okay name two is space how can i get how we are getting the name two in the customer master maybe i will enable the uh, name two okay so go to the se 16 uh, 16 in debugging i am going to change it guys k n a1 yeah. if the customer is who is the customer customer number so two one two three four five times two two one two three four five two and execute and how can you get the data here so display and put an a slash h and enter and code here guys show means it will display edit means you can edit the data insert means you, you can insert the new record delete means you can delete the record so i will change the code to the edit in debugging how you can change the data in the table level so here sinos enterprise solutions control s so my name to value is a sinos enterprise solutions come back come back come back now you run the report again so come back so i have changed the data and execute and there are many ways so it's only for debugging only don't do in the real time so you can see over because you can see sinos enterprise and solutions now you can see scene cost enterprise solutions maybe uh, <coughs> you need the space as well right how can you do the space then see scene was enterprise solution but if you write the code concatenate separated by space but here it, it is not giving me the space how you can get the space hmm? so maybe uh, then 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 maybe uh, separated i don't give it how can i give this normally we can give like this but it should not be the criteria see put concatenate and like this so maybe here i can give the space space this is the one one way of doing the code and is is it accepting uh, last comma perfect okay Control S. 
no it's not accepting see the function concatenate expects two parameters only guys okay we cannot do any three parameters okay maybe i put one what will happen we'll see guys control s one space two parameters maybe we'll do any uh, this thing how can you do the control s only it is giving me a two parameters do the f1 and concatenate argument one argument two so here you can see guys one more thing concat with the space guys see so there is one more statement called concat with the space so you need to provide the different function this is if it is in a concatenate you can do only two parameters if you want to do concat with the space this is in a function so here you can provide so argument one argument two and spaces and maybe we will use concat with the space so concat underscore with underscore space and here i put how many spaces you need so number of spaces is one huh? see concat with the space and argument one that means the parameter one parameter two how many spaces you need between the two parameters so i put an a one as an a this case maybe activate this so we have different functions like with the concat function not concatenate here guys only concat okay we can concatenate two parameters without separator separator is not possible guys and if you want to has an a space separator we need to use concat underscore with underscore space okay here also we can do concatenate with two parameters with but with a separator space but with separator space with with separator with separator space control s now so this is activated maybe i'll run the report now okay so everything we are deriving from the database guys so where you are doing the logic so you are writing cds that means whenever you execute this cds the cds will be executed on the database level not on the application layer guys so application layer means like this maybe the same logic how you can do in the application layer i will show so maybe i come back and execute again enter and go to the uh, see guys you see there is in a space between Srinivas enterprise solutions okay there is in a space in between and you can see the space between this case so normally if i want to achieve the same functionality and what i'll do is normally so after i get the data so here normally uh, look at jt underscore final so what exactly the code push down i will show here guys see look at this and maybe data i am going to declare inline declarations gs underscore final okay and end loop and here we are going to do in a concatenate of gs underscore final uh, first one is name just i am writing i don't bother about the syntax okay name to into gs underscore final iphone so my full name and separated by space this is the logic which i need to do and also i need to do any modify statement modify gt underscore final from gs underscore final maybe index some psi iphone tabix so normally i write this logic but here it will loop suppose if you have million records it will loop million records it will do the concatenate and it will modify the million in the records in the internal table but here this total logic we push down to the database layer see it is doing here itself whenever it is fetching that time itself it is doing in a concatenate and it is changing the data the data should be goes to the where is where is that concatenate yeah it goes to the 
full name field guys so that's an a code push down technique with the series we are pushing down all your code into the database layer guys so are you clear now what exactly the code push down so the processing logic which we are doing but i don't want to do that processing logic you can apply the concatenate statement on the database level itself cds is an a this cds will be always executed on the database layer guys not on the application layer guys so this is the statement of a lower and upper case and case statement and case statement and also you can see the concatenate functions guys but how you can do the aggregates so aggregate functions also which we are going to see in today's class what exactly the aggregations possible so with the series we can do we can fetch the data we can apply the uh, expressions string expressions like string we can do the cast we can do the case uh, sorry we can do the concatenate we can do upper and we can do lower case right and also we can do the expressions case means expression conditional logic we can do it right with series i can give some statement about series so with the series we can do string operations and expression operations like what is the expressions case expression means case and case that is an expressions expression language and we can perform aggregates case aggregates means like sum okay and the min minimum maximum uh -huh. min and max sum and count we can do the count so this kind of operations we call it's an aggregation aggregational operations so with the series we can do the string operations i have shown lower upper case and concatenate and with the uh, series we can do the expression operation expression language operations okay expression language operations like okay case statements we can use it and also uh, we can perform aggregates like sum we can do min we can do max we can do count we can do it case let's take an example of so i am going to one more series not here guys just plain series which i am going to, i would like to show okay maybe go to the data definitions and new data definition okay sorry st hana yeah data definition and new data definition so create new data definition so new data definition is g uh, i don't use st hana 11 don't use the edg guys okay he will not give me the user id g hdb okay i crashed this system <laughs> okay so if i if if you, they know edg they don't give me the user id okay g hdb and uh, cds and uh, aggregates okay cds with aggregate operations okay next next means i can select the templates guys uh, uh, first you need to uh, local next okay define view maybe normal view i am going to take it and finish it okay so here guys i would like to find out a product which is having a more cost okay let's take an example of here if you see the uh, 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 which is having a more order value okay today i would like to see so who is the customer who bought more value so let's take here so there is an order the cost is here right maybe this is inr guys and maybe uh, what is the maximum value of this net value okay so maximum of orders how you can fetch it okay what is the maximum value of the order value in the vback table so if you want to get this so you can do any statement like this so go to here and from vback table okay just i am only one select i am doing guys okay i am not using going to use multiple tables only single table okay in the single table so select vbgln okay and kunnr so you have to use comma 
and and max of NETWR. That's it. What is the maximum NETWR? So which I am going to uh, have in this table we back guys. Okay, but whenever we use the maximum, okay, you should always use an a group by class guys. Group by and based on what order well group by VBE LN control S. So here you can see. So also it should be an a KU and an R. So whenever you use an a group by so you must define all the fields which are not part of the aggregates case. So let's take an example of what is the error? Syntax errors VBLN group by VBLN and comma, I think. Kunar, yes. And what is the error? An alias name must be assigned. Okay, no problem. As max, okay, price. This is my maximum price from this table, guys. See, and you need to give an SQL name. So very very important, guys. These statements. Okay. So SQL name is GHDB underscore SQL underscore. What is that aggregate? Okay, AGG. Okay, this is my SQL view name, guys. Always you must give an SQL name. And also authorization, guys. You always put not underscore allowed this is the thing which you need to use it actually normally i will get an a control space i don't know yeah guys see so here you can see there are different kind of authorizations so check means it will check for the authorization not allowed means it doesn't check for any authorization guys not allowed and what is the error control s so not allowed and user text label CDS with aggregate operations. It is showing some error. Huh? Uh, sorry, actually I given wrong thing. See, if you do the control space, you get the values. See, not allowed. Okay, yesterday I have given a wrong uh, value actually. So not allowed. So what is the error? Do the syntax check then. Okay, no errors. Guys, sometimes it doesn't, it will show in red mark. Okay, activate it. Okay, so this is activated. This is successful, guys. Okay, maybe I will execute this aggregate function. So do the open with data preview, or else we can do an a F8 also. It will execute, guys, and do the F8, and it opens the uh, customer and customer number, and based on these two, it is giving me the maximum values, guys. Maybe. I should not put any customer guys. So maximum of the order. So maximum value of an order guys. So sorry. So maybe go to the 29. Okay, 29. And what is the price of that? 500 euros. 500 euros. Okay. I should only get maximum values. Okay, we'll take out the customer. So because the customer it will come it is coming as an a customer and activate now. And F8 and even order also it is getting. So even take out the order. Take out the order as well. It should work, guys. No errors. Wait. And F8. See, guys, maximum price. It is giving me only the maximum value from that table, guys. Maybe if you go to the table, so the maximum value, maybe you can do the ascending order or descending order. And you can see which one is the first descending. 
see guys so what is the maximum value over here this is the maximum value from that uh, guys so what is this one two three four five six seven eight eight zeros three eight zeros three one two three four five six seven eight eight, eight zeros three maximum value it is getting so this is the aggregations which we can perform on the database table and maybe sometimes maybe i can find out based on the vbln as well as the from the customer as well so but it gives based on the two values vbln and customer number it is going to give a maximum value of that uh, thing guys maybe let's take an example of one example i will take only output as a <coughs> vbln control f net w r and customer control f k u n n r so k u n n r and execute now see guys uh, net value sold to see if you take 2002 only uh, filter this uh, sorry the descending order and maybe go to the one customer so uh, which is related to uh, let's take an example of so e is the customer 93 let's take an example of 93 some 24 and so what is the maximum price in this in this customer the maximum price is 20 right so whenever i do this i will enable now those two things now i need a maximum price based on the vbln and customer whenever you do any aggregates if you see any fields which are not aggregated that field should be as part of an a group by class group by vbe ln and ku nn or control s and activate so now i will execute this f8 and you can see what is the customer number now so i will take this example guys 9324 so maybe do the assign uh, 9324 uh, which is not there here take one customer 9320 maximum rows we need to delete it okay if i take maximum so where is the uh, that customer is see see this series case it's in an order we have to look at here the customer is you need to look at here see 9324 okay so it should give me maximum price but order is changed guys but order is changed so maybe i take only based on the a customer i don't include the order number because the combination of order and customer this is the price right so maybe what i need to do is instead of instead of sorry where is my code so i don't take an a vbln now so only based on the customer you take the maximum value only based on the customer so activate it now i should get an a 20 guys see f8 and go to the uh, customer so descending so see what is the maximum price of the customer 20 so if you see here so what is the maximum price of this customer so he added the maximum price is that 20 uh, 20 rupees or 20 usd or something guys okay this is the this is the way we can do any aggregations with the cds we can perform the aggregations like max count and sum and minimum maybe if you would like to do any minimum anyway max reverse is minimum maybe how you can do the sum actually okay and what based on you can do the sum guys maybe based on the let's take an example of what is the customer how many what is the maximum uh, what is the total value of this customer how much purchased how much we purchase how much we sell to this customer okay let's take an example of 20 plus 15 35 50 
50 plus 65, 65 plus 15, 70. Okay, 70 rupees we have this. Huh? This is different customer, see. This is a 23 customer. Huh? Okay, no, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 15, uh, 60, 16 plus 20, 80. Okay, maybe what I need to do is I'm going to perform an aggregations. See, instead of max, I put an S sum, guys. I put an S sum. Okay, so do the activation. Activation is done. And put an F8. You will see an 80 and customer is and go to the again customer you can see the price is 80 case so like this on top of cds we can perform the aggregates in the cds we can perform the expression language by using case statement and cash statements and we can do the string operations by using uh, uppercase lowercase concatenate okay, a lot of things we can do it's we don't explain all here and please you need to you need to explore your things case these are a foundation which i have given but now my next question is, okay, I have an exit existing CDS case. I would like to add my own custom fields. How can I add it? See, it is possible. I have an existing CDS. So where I need to include my custom fields, how can I do that? Okay, how can I do that? Maybe that thing, I will go to the back to the ECC. Okay, maybe I will find out for the existing CDS views case. How can I find out the existing CDS views? Huh? Go to SC11 and maybe I will try view and F4. Uh, look for information system and package VA. Maybe I am looking for sales. Is there any existing CDS? And if you see, CDS always comes as an A. Uh, C underscore I underscore like that. And I think I don't see any CDS case. So why? Because is there is no standard the CDS standard CDS are available in s4 and i itself case maybe i will go to the s4 and so now i take out this so i don't want to confuse now now i will work on only s4 and system okay this is an s4 and i am not using at all ecc maybe i will take out the ecc yes even in the eclipse also I don't want to use any this case. Maybe I will log out from this. Do you see log out? Hmm? I think you should get log off this. Log off. Huh? Close. Close project. Okay. Now it is closed. Okay. Now I have only S4 on our system. And now I am going to find out the CDS for the sales case. Let's take, go into the SC11 and view and F4 and put in a package as an VA. Enter and you can see here the CDS stuff, V underscore and all. How can I find out? CDS. Maybe one more way. Tell me what is the best way, guys. Maybe I can go to the system. Control Shift A. I will add VA as my favorite package. See how to find out the things. So in this system, I will add add package. Where is that? Sorry. This is my system. And you can add the package guys. So expand this. This is my local object favorite package. Huh? Yeah, go to package and add package. Put on a VA. Okay, VA as in a package. So go to the favorite packages. See, in the VA, you can see, is there any core data services? Yes guys, see. This is the way you can find out the core data services for the standard applications. So best technique this is. Maybe I will add one more uh, add package. So one more package is maybe MM, MGA, material management application. See MGA is in a package. So, so see, you can see 
so this va maybe what is that package for delivery huh? vl see vl is in a package so i would like to explore some standard cds in the sales order side in the delivery side and material management side okay maybe i will go to the material management and load and core data services do you see any core data services i think there is no core data services log out and va but sales we have any core data services and core data services and access control data definition we'll see the access control later data definition see guys this is all my core data services case maybe i will go to one of the uh, important f4 this is a f4 and we back uh, search help okay i will go to normal views guys okay v a k a b what is this we'll see now okay what is this cds so this is a cds okay define view view name add select distincts from v back table see join vbpa join vbpa and join tpar okay there are a lot of logics which we have and if you see the standard cds here and you can see there are a lot of things which are implemented case statements they have used see there are same kind of things the sap standard by referring this you can learn a lot of things in the uh, cds case okay maybe this is a one of the series and maybe i go to the one series uh, vakpa what is this series so this is an a union all so we have an a union concept in the series and they have merged different series different things into here this but not much not great series which i have this is all partner uh, things what is this uh we back we back we bpa okay this is one serious case okay which is having we back and we back mat nar we back we kvo rg spart same thing which we did same like serious which we have okay i have an already there is in a serious okay so maybe i have like this maybe i execute this serious we'll see f8 so this is my series material vkorg some uh, data vtwg and all ku nnr and where is the uh, orders and all so maybe orders are not available okay this is my one of the series let's take an example okay but here my custom field let's take an example of i have an a custom field maybe sc11 and go to and we back is an a table and display and here maybe how can you add the custom fields guys so already there are some custom fields over here see so maybe group id po number so there are some custom fields which are included by someone and email and origin see origin of this order and all okay we have some custom fields maybe i will go to we back and uh, se 16n and we back and maybe the custom fields the origin which is not equal to there is the origin so maybe uh, origin place uh, po number group id okay which is not equal to space not equal to space means if there is any value and maybe i can get this so there are some orders and only one order which is having the origin okay this is the group id po number so there are some values case okay origin or something which we have okay this is my order number this is my order number okay in this i need i would like to add my custom field okay in this sales order things i need to up, add my own custom fields maybe there are some first custom fields from we back but can you change where is the change maybe i can go and add it but is it suggestible see carry out repairs in non original system only if they are urgent so don't do any changes in the standard things case okay so instead of this you need to enhance your own you need to add your fields on top of this how can you do that so that is an exactly the concept called extension guys cds extensions okay the new concept we call it in a cds extensions so we have seen how many types of cds cds basic cds with the uh, parameterized cds 
and the third type of CDS is okay CDS uh, this is okay the joints are different CDS we can implement inner join left outer join right outer join and union that is a joining concept but the types what kind of different types of CDS CDS with the basic defined view second one is CDS with the parameter we can include the parameters now CDS extensions what exactly this it's an, definitely an interview question okay how can you so with this what we can do we can add custom or additional fields into standard CDS that's it you can add your custom or or additional fields maybe if the field is part of another table even that is in a standard field even that also you can include it so not only custom fields you can add additional and custom fields both you can do this case with a CDS extensions okay so this is my CDS extensions so the syntax is so maybe I will go to I will take in a template case no need to worry very very easy okay so don't fear about this and go to the uh, where I am doing this all in package I'm not doing any package guys in I'm doing in a local object actually okay so code data services and new new and uh, maybe I will take data definition so this is my GHDB and CDS underscore some extension guys what is the view wow, just now I removed so CDS uh, sales maybe I can put sales ext extension view okay the view name I forgot okay sales uh, extended view and next and next and here you can see there is an extend view guys you need to select this and here you will get a syntax and finish it off okay I'm not writing any any new things guys see so I am not writing any anything uh, difficult see here you can see extend view the view name so which view you need to extend it guys so maybe you can see the view name so the view name is so this is the view name so v underscore vap ma so first you need to tell to the system which view you need to extend okay extend view so extend we back table let's take an example here extend view my existing view is this with our view name this is our cds view name right and here i am going to add the fields so what fields you need you would like to add okay so here my fields are we back dot put the okay what is the uh, uh, header of the we back maybe they have used different alias name so for the header we back we back as we back only vbpa as vbpa okay yes 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 maybe i will use the we uh, back and fields to the control space i am not getting okay out of date update now run in the background control space no so maybe i will add manually guys control space is not working so you have seen the fields okay uh, i will take all the custom fields zz all custom fields i am going to add okay and next one is uh, we back uh, this custom field we back at this and next field is uh z email these are all custom fields right so these are all not part of this view and next g r o r back dot g r o r right and also uh, g origin we uh, back dot g origin cancel and we back dot name one 
back not someone added that fields so i'm going to use last field don't use this uh, huh? sql view name you need to give maybe i can put same thing controls Control V and Control S. And so, what is the error? Okay, yeah, this is important, guys. Important statement Control C. So, whenever you define CDS, the name should not be any identical, guys. SQL name and CDS name should, but should not be any identical. So, this is the note. SQL name and also DDL view name. So same if you see here, this is my SQL view name. This is my CDS name. Both names should not be the same. So take this to the SQL. This is my SQL name. SQL. That's it. Control S. Okay. So now what is the error? Okay. It is greater than 16 characters. Okay. I will take out SQL. That's it. No syntax errors, guys, and active. Very, very easy, guys. Okay, extension. This is an entry question. How you can do the CDS extension? You need to remember this. If it is in a basic CDS, you will get an a defined view. See, it's in a defined view. If it is an extension, you see it's an extend view, guys. Extend view. What extend? Standard one with our custom one. And with the required fields. That's it. Okay. Now, how about execution? I need to execute this or I need to execute this. Or if I execute this, will I get this or not? That we are going to see now. Guys. How the execution part? Now we can see. So, I close all. I open only two, which is standard one and which is in a custom one. So this is my custom one. Press F8. And see, guys, I am getting standard things, MAT, NR, VKORG, everything. And I go uh, last. See, guys, I added my custom fields, which are added into the standard series. GCP already, GCP one or Gmail, and the name and all, and you can see the data. Maybe you can give more data, 999, and enter, and see. So now you can see the data over in the custom fields. See, there is any data for the PR ID, and when there is any data, it is displaying the data, particular data. Just I have added my custom things into the standard by extending into the CDS extension guys. So this is a CDS extension and so the syntax is Syntax Simple syntax This is the syntax So everything it is there guys. So I have given definitions. I am giving the syntax see this and you can implement in your code the only thing is you need to enable your tools that's the important you should be having any tool to implement this you have to enable the tools case and the next most important concept in the cds side is cds extension is done parameters is done now cds with associations the fifth what is the fifth kind of cds define basic view with uh, Parameterized view and CDS extensions and CDS with associations. So this is also one more important concept, guys. Okay, we are going to see what exactly the association. So what is association first? You should know the term. Here yeah, the terms are important. What is the association and how you can do the associations? That we are going to see. CDS with annotation, sorry, associations. Okay, that we will take 10 minutes break. We will continue with the CDS associations. So slowly we are going towards new S4 and a programming model. Okay, after this, we are going to 
have an a cds with a uh, <coughs> select options till now we did only single input parameters right but if it is in a select options range how you can do the cds then we are going to slowly take you to the go data services and then we come back to the cds cds uh, with inbuilt o data services then we'll build an a fury applications by using cds guys slowly we are going towards the s4 hana programming model with new hana s4 hana architecture so please you should enable the tools otherwise you don't understand anything okay maybe it's a matter of it's a movie okay when you go to the movie in month one month so the ticket cost is 250 rupees and if you buy the popcorn it the popcorn cost is 200 rupees the total cost is 450 rupees if you spend the same 450 rupees on your education it will give lot of value rather than spending the money in the movie tickets and popcorn guys so that's only the that is the way you need to think out please enable the user ids in the s4 and thank you all see you in the next class after 15 minutes